Okay, I'm gonna tell you a little bit, tell you a story today. So I want you to meet Linda. She's a software developer uh, in a business critical uh, backend system. She works there together with four others. Uh, they are running it and they are maintaining it and they are developing it. But the company they worked in uh, decided they wanted a new business capability uh, delivered or uh, created. So Linda was chosen for that initiative. But they also, the company also knew this was uncharted the territory for them because, it did, because they, this was all new. So they knew that I needed experts with different skills. So they assembled uh, four others uh, covering different skills like product, like UX, like testing, front end uh, coding and stuff like that. And they also, the company also knew that collaboration was essential. So they knew the whole uh, saying that the whole is greater than, than the parts and that includes people as well. So they also knew about group dynamics. They knew that uh, the basic uh, uh, unit for, for society is the group, not the individual. So they decided to put these together in a team. And, this, and they also wanted to give this team some autonomy. And by doing that, they gave them participate, participative uh, uh, design. So they were, there, they were able to uh, themselves decide how to do this stuff, uh, how, how, to, how to organize, or self-organize, if you like. And they also were given a minimal set of specific, uh, of, of, uh, of directions, a, min a minimal set of how to do stuff, uh, uh, how to organize themselves, uh, architecture, the uh, uh, directives, and all that stuff. So they were also given power and authority to make decisions, but also the accountability to actually for the outcome for those decisions. So in a sense, they were given what is often referred to as responsible autonomy. Um, they, uh, they were also given, uh, what they were given though, it's a clear purpose. They, were, they, had, they had a mission to fulfill that, that this new business capability. Uh, and also they were given a whole task. So they didn't just get one part of it, but they got the whole part uh, of some essence of that uh, capability. So they were, uh, they, they were so managing, that they, uh, they were supposed to manage the complete process. So no definite handoffs, for example. But there were other themes. Of course, and there were the stakeholders. There were partners, companies. There were competitors outside in in in, in the markets. They were doing similar things. Uh, there was also the labor market. There were tech technology trends. There were conferences like this, for example. So it was a turbulent environment, and they were and, and they needed to adapt to these changes in this in this environment. This is often referred to as an open system. So they needed to be able to get quick, quick feedback, and in order to do that. They had to. They had to get the uh, variance control. They had to control, be able to to uh, adapt to the, to these changes. And in order to to do that, they needed all the information they could get. So, not uh, not only information within, within the team, but also from the outside. And they also that this information flow is in also includes self monitoring and performance metrics. They were this were the, their data. And this gave the teams a clear boundary to the outside for the other teams and also for, for sort of the environment as a whole. And this boundary was actually a good place for the management to work. They were working outwards from the team. They were helping the teams uh, to coordinate with, with, uh, with, with, with the rest of this turbulent time and environment. So, he, so, the, so the, the manager became the resource for the team in essence. They also knew that this team was fragile in a way because they had expertise, four or five expertise, and if one got sick, what were they to do? They, they didn't want to stop their, 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 their development if somebody went on a sick leave, for example. So they knew they had to be multifunctionality of some sort, multi-skilled. So not necessarily T, uh, T, 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 T uh, image of the thing, but uh, they have to be able to cover for, for each other if somebody got sick. So they needed redundancy of function instead of redundancy of parts. They also needed the rest of the organization to support them in how they were, they, they were designed. So congruent, uh, they needed to have support congruence from the rest of the organization. And that includes hiring, salary, bonuses, promotions, work management, financial support, and all, all their other stuff. They also knew that this design was incomplete. It would have to change at some point because they had to adapt to the environment, for example. So, so they knew that. So they had to learn to be adaptive. They had to learn to resign how, redesign how they work, and also the organization as a whole had to, had to learn to adapt to changes. They also, there's another thing, they need, then 
working this way. They also have some demands of, of the work design, the job design, if you like. So when you get your basics covered, like salary and, and, and uh, safety and all that, you want more. Developer wants more. So they want a demanding uh, job, some, some, that's something that they can learn from. They wanted an area that were theirs, they had responsibility over. They wanted to have work life uh, social app support. And they also wanted to uh, move towards a disciple future, if you like. They wanted to, for example, see that the customer are happy with, 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 with what the stuff they were making, for example. Does this sound like fantasy to you? It sure did for me when I heard it the first time. It sounds like agile utopia. This, this would be perfect. But can it possibly work? Yes, it can. Because this is actually the core of social technical design, system design. This was developed, has just been developed in the developments in the 40s through exploration and hundreds and hundreds of projects around the world. And I think we need social technical system design in able to, more than ever actually, uh, not even more so than in the coal mines, because we are, we are working in such a turbulent environment, we have to be able to adapt. So we, as developers, we demand more, we, we, we want greater product productivity, and we have a harder and turbulent environment to deal with. So in a sense, this is a win-win situation. We get more committed, te technology operates closer to its potential, and the organization performs better while also adapting. Win-win-win-win. So this is basically agile before agile. Thank you.